and hello everyone. Gabe the Izzard here. I have made it to Indianapolis, Indiana, the state capital of Indiana. And I'm about to go inside this glorious building. It is huge. It is here. And it's a little bit chilly. There it is. We're going in. Every door we go to says go to another door. So we are making our way to the west side. Hopefully this will be it. Made it through security. Now we're going to the second floor. We're here. So we signed up for a guided tour of this magnificent building. And we're gonna be tagging along with a school group. Go ahead, tag along, they said. floors in this building are made of marble from Vermont and then the granite pillars are from Tennessee and this whole building back in 1878 to 1888 cost under two million and if you decide to get married in here you can rent this venue for twelve hundred dollars House of Representatives. The Senate Chambers. Supreme Court. Just, just walked up on a wedding. These are the original lamps from when the courthouse was, or the uh, Capitol was built, and they were originally gas. The ones that went up were gas. The ones that stick out were added later in our electric. And this is the furthest that we can go up, and that is the bottom of the rotunda where we started. I guess Indiana pork is the best pork, and the House of Representatives is now in session, and we were in there just a few minutes ago. The temptation to slide down this is overwhelming, but I will not do it. Here's an up close view of the chandelier that was once gas. Walking out the Capitol steps are these two monuments. We're gonna walk down here. It is kind of closed. But we're going to see this one down here. Just a few feet from the Capitol steps is Jack's Donuts. I stopped in here to get a cup of coffee, which is sitting right there. And they ended up getting a cream, Bavarian cream filled chocolate covered donut. And that thing was fantastic. It's right here. Now we're going to go down to the fountain. This has got to be the fanciest entrance to a TJ Maxx ever. 
what it looks like when an escalator is taken apart. The stairs and all the rollers. I've never seen that before. This is the Soldiers and Sailors Monument, dated 1865. Memorial for the Indiana Volunteer during the Civil War. This is on the opposite side. These bears just be chilling. And then here's on the north side for the uh, war with Mexico. Gotta love an old church in the middle of uh, downtown. There's a United States courthouse and post office erected in 1903. Here's a shot of the Indiana World War Memorial. Heading that way right now. Here's a fountain that has no water in it and is chained off. It's got little fishes in it and people dancing around this lady, whoever she might be. Here's a great shot of the Indiana War Memorial. I think I'm gonna go climb those stairs. Like that guy, maybe not run them, but I'm gonna go up. On my way up. Made it to the top steps. In between these two lions. They didn't scare me. On the north side overlooks the American Legion Mall, which is not a place to shop, but a place to have get togethers. And then in the background, right there is the Illinois or Indiana Central Library and uh, there's big church big church here is an obelisk that's under construction a phallic symbol so this was actually a Scottish Rite Cathedral not just a church there's probably some really spooky stuff going on in there here is a Vietnam Memorial and this is a very personal type memorial because it has a letter from different people. Hi, Mom and Dad. We got some of the best Marines in the world with us here. I wouldn't want to be any place else. Love always. Larry. Killed in action. April 4th, 1968. Less than a year after writing this. And here's the list of the Indianians who gave their life in the Vietnam War. Now I'm really starting to wonder about that rapture thing. And another memorial for those who served in the World War. With these eagles encompassing the corners right in front of the library. And this is the American Legion for which this mall is named after. Here at the library, they have a couple pieces of art. One is this chocolate donut looking item. And the other is this hideously scary creature that has no head these long tentacle type arms that flow down. The wife said that that's its, that's its head. 
What do you think? It's actually Thin Man. What the heck? Thin Man Little Bird to be precise. But still Thin Man. And here's a buffalo with a, actually it's a bison. But why is its derriere that's so shiny and has these Raggedy Ann cartoons on it? So we stepped into the lobby of the library just to take a look. And what a glorious, beautiful library it is. This is the old part. And I'll step into the new section. Do you have some art? I got this visitor guide and it was, began construction in 1916. And the dedication was in 1917. And then they've added on this glorious section in the early 2000s. Strike that. They closed it in 2002 and reopened in 2007 with all of these updates. Brief history of the Hoosier State. Early as 8,000 BC, there were Paleo Indians. 1,000 BC to 1450 were the Adena, Hopewell, and Mississippian, followed by the Shawnee, Miami, and Potawatomi. And then 1679 to 1763, French rule. Then 1763 to 1783 was under British rule until the American Revolution. Then it was a U.S. territory until 1816 when it became a state. Although this is a functioning library with many, many books, it is also sort of a tourist attraction. So we're going to hit the floors and just kind of take a quick peek. Here is the second floor. A little bit of uh, action going on down there. Police are taking care of it. Here's a replica of the Emperor's army made from a exact mold of the ones that were originally found. And a view from the sixth floor overlooking the mall. Capital in the distance. And this is a view of the north side. through the fiction and science fiction. Here's a west side shot. There's the church. And a trip through the rows and rows and rows of books here on the sixth floor. The fifth floor gives you the highest vantage point the inside what could the fourth floor hold let me guess more books rows and rows it is a library one might think that this glass wall is just a beautiful piece of architecture but it is actually where birds come to commit suicide. If you don't believe me, ask that little fella. Before I leave, I'm going to check out these wings of the original. These wings are the ethnic wings because you can rent books in Russian. Mini selection. They have an Indian section, French, 
along with Spanish. A whole long row. What in the world? I also saw German, Russian, Greek, Hebrew, Japanese, lots of different Portuguese, lots of different languages. People like to read. And this is the opposite wing. There's a place that runs behind the state capitol and through downtown that is called the canal. And you can rent swan paddle boats and float around the canal. Or you can use the walk path as I'm doing. And right here at these waterfalls is the end of the canal system and it flows directly into the White River located right here amongst this driftwood. And there's a pedestrian bridge that walks right over the top of it. Well, after a long day of traveling and walking, we made it to Bloomington and we're eating at Fat Dan's Barbecue and I'm going to call it quits. So tomorrow is going to be a day of trail walking. Beautiful sun behind my back. So I'll be doing that. I'm finishing up here. I'm starving to death. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.